How y'all doing, family? It's Chris Rod with Media TV, and I'm going to be coming to you with this little quick video. Um, Alabama Sheriff legally pockets leftover jail food funds. This is why people hate paying fucking taxes. Because you got motherfuckers like this in Alabama. After you then fed the, the, the jail people and stuff, the money left over, what you should be trying to do, you should be trying to help a way for the uh, jail people have a, a system for them to uh, get some kind of education in a, in a jail uh, jail place or something like that, or have some kind of programs that help them uh, towards you know getting out of jail and stuff like that, uh, to help them when they get out there have some kind of skill or something like that, a trade or anything. But no. This motherfucker are donated to some kind of cause or something like that with the money and everything, you know? But no, you know what this sheriff motherfucking do? This sheriff pockets all the fucking money. And that motherfucker went and bought him a beach house on the Gulf Coast and all kind of shit. This is the reason why people hate paying fucking taxes. This is the reason why people hate fucking paying taxes because these fucking... The cops and all this shit always using taxpayers' money and spending it on a damn self. And then you have the IRS talking about, so, oh, you got to pay your taxes, and the government got to pay your taxes and shit like that. Trump just, he just signed a $1.3 trillion increase. And half of that shit that he just did, he just raised another deficit, the debt deficit, and it, it, it's it's just crazy, man. Like I say, it, it ain't going to be long until the fucking, uh, until the shit uh, go under again. It ain't going to be long until the shit, the fucking banks and all this shit go under again because they just keep raising the debt deficit, keep raising it. And then when the dollar crash, boy, everything going to fucking, everything just going to go fucking down the drain. But let me play this video for y'all family. Cashing in on public service, an Alabama sheriff is being criticized for finding a way to line his pockets while keeping one of his key programs under budget. His defense? He does everything by the book. Mark Strassman went looking for answers. Over the past two weeks, me, my family, my office, the citizens of Etowah County have been targets of miscellaneous Fake news stories. Etowah County Sheriff Todd Endrickens proud of his jail food. These meal trays serve to inmates every day. This is a jail. This is not a bed and breakfast. If you're used to eating grandma's fried chicken, ordering pizza several times a week, you're not going to be happy. But critics say he is mostly fed himself. If y'all heard what he just said, that was a shot at black people. If you're used to eating bread and bed, grandma's fried chicken... That was a shot at black people just now, fam. I just want to let y'all know that. Fuck you, stupid-ass, crusty-ass motherfucker. Fuck all you damn peck of woods, bitch. Over the last three years, the sheriff's food program has run under budget, letting him pocket the leftovers. $750,000, all of it taxpayer money. Do you agree that the optics of this are terrible? The optics, yes, but I can't, I can't change the opti optics. More optics. Last September, Entrican and his wife bought this $740,000 beach house along Alabama's Gulf Coast. Because a Depression-era state law makes Alabama sheriffs personally responsible for feeding inmates, the performance bonus Entrican gave himself is legal. I haven't done anything wrong. If, they, if, if it's wrong, somebody needs to change the law. Why not give it all to charity? So there's no question about it. Well, this is just like anybody that gets out here and works every day, and at the end of the day, if you make a profit, it's yours. But this is public service, sir. It's well, public service. I asked to be the sheriff, and it come with that job. And so you know, I'm not going to make you happy, I promise you. Remember, taxpayers are footing the bill here. And in Etowah County, the median income is $40,000 a year. The sheriff's bonus is the talk of the county, and the running joke here now is that everyone wants to be sheriff. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Mark Strassman, Gadsden, Alabama.
Well, I'll bet they all want to be I, sheriff. Can you blame them? I was just surprised. An egg, a piece of toast, and grape jelly? Yeah, that's, that's one. This is, not a, this is a jail, not a bed and breakfast, and he breakfast. said. Well, for that... See, like what I'm saying? This motherfucker doing all kind of shit, spending taxpayers' money. But that's what they all do. But they'll fucking tell you, oh, you got to pay your taxes. Oh, you got to pay your taxes. Why? So you can fucking use my shit and spending this shit on all kind of other shit? This is why a lot of re a lot of people don't fucking like paying taxes. A lot. This is the reason why people like getting paid in cash and not a check. Stupid motherfucker. But family, y'all leave me... Uh, I'm gonna put the uh the video in the description, and now y'all leave me y'all comments what y'all think about this uh this video and everything. Y'all have a great morning, and I'll be back with another one.